Hello everybody and welcome back to a new tutorial in Java. Today I will be showing you how to create a simple graphical user interface. So we'll be doing this simple frame. I will enter the username and the password. When I press login, I did not create any database. I will simply connect this frame to another frame as you can see. So in this case, you can see the name Ahmed that was entered at the beginning traveled from one frame to this frame. And I am using a GIF picture as you can see here. So let's start doing it. First, we will add a project in HBeans. Simply Java application, give it any name. And we will forget the main class. We will remove it. Next. Here we are. Now let's add a package instead of the default one. Just. For example. Now let's add the first JFrame. So here we are. We choose JFrame. We'll name it frame one. Here we are. I will add also the second J frame. I will call it frame two. Okay, let's start by designing the first frame. So I will start by adding a panel. Before going to that, now let's talk briefly about a graphical user interface in NetBeans. As you can see here, we have the navigator. The navigator contains all of the objects that was added in your graphical user interface. So far, we only had the JFrame. As far as we add elements, you will see them here and we could rename them as well. Moreover, we have this container. It has the items that could be added to design. We have labels, buttons, radio button, a lot, a lot of items just to drag and drop. Then we have the properties. Whenever you choose an item, the properties will be displayed here. You could display them using right click and then properties as well. You can control your element using properties. Let's start. We will add a panel. You can resize them simply. Now let's color this to gray, for example. Here we are. Now let's add the items. We will be adding two labels first. This is for the username and this would be for the password. Then we need to add text fields for the username and we will add a password field for the password so that the password will be hidden. Now for alignment, you need to select both those items, right click and then align. I want them to be left aligned. If you want them to be right aligned, of course you are free to do that. Now let's write username here. And here, let's write password. As you can see, they are right aligned. I prefer it to be left aligned. So I will do left. Now I will remove the text from here. And I will choose the column size to be, in this case, I will make it 10. For the password as well, I will make it 10 columns and I will make it empty as well. Here we are. Let's add the title. So I will add a label. And then for example, Now 
Now we could change the font type. I love this one. And let's make it bigger size, for example, 24. You could make it bold as well. And then what else do we need? We could change the color. So instead of a black, I will choose a blue. So here we are. Okay, let's add a button. So this will be my button. I will write login. For example. Now I need to do another thing. As you have seen in the illustration, we have a simple picture here. So how to do that? In it means we will add a label. And for this label, you'll go to the properties. And you need to select icon. So here we are, we go to icon. Then you will choose external image. I have downloaded this image. It is in pictures and this is the one. Here we are. I choose a PNG picture to be transparent. I will remove the text in the label. Here we are. We are done with the design. Now, let's try to run it. So this is the one frame one. As you can see, that here we are. We need to add the title here for the JFrame. How to do that? I will go to the JFrame and in the title, I will write, for example, login. So when you run it, you will see here a login so far so good now when i press login what i am planning to do i'm willing to go from this frame to the other frame so let's design the second frame and then we will do the button thing so we will start also by adding a panel and then let's add a label as i have shown you we will have a picture and inside the picture we'll have a text welcome ta 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 so let's start by adding the label in order to be able to add the picture so uh, we will go again to icon as i have explained before from here and i will select the picture sakura picture i love sakura so here we are i will resize it i will resize my panel and frame accordingly so here we are what do we still need to add we need to add another label that will write the text that i want to display will come and everything now you can see that there is a problem here in order to avoid that we will choose set layout and I will choose card label. So here we are, we have our second label. Now for this, let's specify the properties. So in this case, let me choose the font that I like. So here we are. Let's make it for example, 18. About the color, instead of black, I want it to be blue as well. Now, regarding the background color, I want it to be highlighted. So, let's do some like green, for example. But it's not highlighted as you can see here. In order to make it work, you need to change the setting opaque. 
Here we are. By default, it's disabled in Java, so we need to enable it. I will simply remove the text here. So, now let's go back to the first frame. When we press the login button, what will be the action? In my case, what I will be trying to do, I want to read the username that was entered in the text field and read also the password and pass the username to the other class. So, let's do that. Now, before moving to this, my text field name is this one. So, let's rename it. So, this is the password and this is... So, let's change variable name. Let's make it user. That will be my text field. It will be easier to deal with it this way. Let's make it pass. Here we are. So, let's go here. Now, I will define a string called user s equal to my text field name, which is user dot get text. This is a predefined method to get the text that was entered by the user. Then I will do similar thing to the password. This is a simple graphical user interface. I will not do any control. Generally, we do control, of course. Like for the password, we allow certain characters and certain length and so on. So, what was my variable name? It is pass. Yeah, I'm using the same name, sorry. So, here we are. Now, I will define an object of type frame number two, which is the second graphical user interface. How to do that? Simply like defining any object in Java. Frame two, frame equals to new. The name of my class. Now I want to pass the user name, this one user s, as an argument. As you can see, I have an error. Why? Because the default constructor has no parameter. So we need to go to the other frame and let's add the other constructor. We have different ways to pass a variable from one frame to another. This is the first one. I will show you the other frame. So here we are and I will add a string. In this case, I need only the user. So I will not be adding the password because I don't need it. So here we are. There is no error, not anymore. And then frame dot set visible true. And this will show the second frame when you press the button. And it will pass to it the user. Now, as we said, we want to display a certain message. So, in this case, if we go here, then what shall we do? We will simply do our label. So, what was the name of our label? In this case, this one, it is JLabel2. So, I will use set text. You need to know two main methods, get text and set text. Get text in order to get the text that was entered. Set text in order to change it simply. So J label two in this case dot set text to what? In my case, I will be writing welcome then plus the user that was passed, the name of the user that was entered. To, for example, here we are. So let's try to run it. 
Okay, let's write, for example, good, welcome Ahmad to Khurud's app, for example. Now, let's hide this one. I don't want it to appear anymore. So, in frame one, here we are, we'll go to the source and after displaying the other frame we will hide this so we'll do this dot set visible to false here we are so the first frame was hidden good Now, in order to make it centralized like this, we need to add this line. Set location relative to null. I have added this also when calling the second frame. So, inside the button, I have added set location regarding the second frame relative to null. So, let's try to test it. It's centralized, as you can see. Here we are, we'll come to this one, and the first frame was hidden. That's all for today. Thank you very much, and see you in next tutorial, inshallah.